All right, have the ASA twin 6000 in a Southern Steel Mogul uh, mortise cylinder. Um, this one has uh, six pins, all with counter milling and um, barrel spools, and it has five pin sidebar with uh, false gates. Um, I have not gotten open on this yet, so this could be a bit longer video. Uh, but I have gone ahead and picked it without the sidebar and I picked it without top pins. Um, what I did note is that picking it, well, picking it without side, uh, sidebar is that um, pins 5 and 6 are right below a very low cut uh, pin. So it's hard to set them without setting pin 4. So half the time I can get it with this hook 1 but uh, I made this one just in case I need to get to those. Um, for the sidebar pins, I went ahead and uh, ground down this, um, actually I don't know if I modified this, but this is a uh, one of those uh, Honest Dongxi um, flag picks that I ground down, I think, for some other lock, but it works good. Um, just in case, I have another uh, tensioner in case I need to float pick any of those um, side pins, uh, because... Um, if you get in those false, false gates, it's hard to get out of them without dropping a lot of stuff. So, let's go ahead and give this a try. Uh, I did note that, um, I, like, let me get it a little bit more comfortable angle for myself. Uh, things bind from the back to the front, but they don't until you lift up pin 2 a little bit. Um, just something I noticed. So I lift pin 2. I don't know if pin 2 is actually set, but I do just lift them up some. And then I go back all the way, and once I fish my uh, pick under there, I think it sets a number of the ones in front, maybe like one and, and four, which are fairly low cuts. And then I pull it forward to get under six, and I can feel that they're not setting. Or, yeah, it doesn't feel like they're setting, so I'm guessing pin, go back to that pin two again. And let me see if I can change my light so I can actually see something a little bit. Um, let me go back to that pin 2 again and make sure he's he, he doesn't click or anything so I, I don't know he just kind of sits up there um, maybe f he's falling into that um, counter milling or something like that but um, okay now I get a little bit of clickiness out of the back and I noticed that the counter milling with the barrels gives me a little bit of counter rotation but not really not like a spool um, it feels it feels a little different, but you can kind of feel it. It's not very much feedback that you get um, from those. So you can hear just random clicks from the back as I set some of pin six and fives. It's kind of not my usual style. It's a little bit brutish. Okay, see, I get a little counter there, and I got a click out of uh, oh, and then when I let go, it, I felt felt fall down. So I think it needs to go more actually. Um, or no. Okay. Oh, each time I get off it, I feel like I gotta get more because it clicks again. Um, all right, so that's that's four. See, I got off it, clicked again. Uh, click out of three. Oh, sorry. Click out of four. Get down to three, and I overset on one. Okay, because I I was off on my count. Um, I thought I was on three. Then I thought I was on. Uh, and then some reason I thought I was on four, and then dropped all the way back to one. So starting over again. Uh, pin two. Maybe I can do a little bit cleaner this time. I got a click out of two. That's not always a good thing. Now I'm going to go back to the back. A little bit, I hate just jamming stuff in there, but let's see. Yeah, I think that click out of two is a bad thing because nothing's sitting back there. Start over. Pin two. Be a little less aggressive on it. Get to the back. See, this is like. Um, getting under pin 5 or 6 is a little bit difficult sometimes. Alright. All right, no clicks in the back, so come back to pin 2 again and do that thing. Make sure I'm not under pin 1, which is a very low cut uh, pin. But it can be tricky to get under. Alright, way over set on 2. I let it drop back down, I don't know. It came down. Let's check. Let's go back to the back. 
Having a hard time getting under five and six again. There we go. Yeah, I'm not hearing things set back there, so. Uh, what is that? It's set on four or three. That must have been two. All right, so two went up. Let's check in the back again. See, it's a little bit concerning that I'm getting no clicks out of five and six. And the fact that they're floating there means something's overset. Start over again. All right. Do the pin two thing again. And I think that with the sidebar in now, I have to apply a lot more tension to get the same results as I was getting when I was picking without the sidebar. It seems to add a little bit of counter rotation pressure. Get under the back. No clicks back there. Come back to number two. One, two. Okay, let's see if that gives me. Okay, now I'm getting clicks in the back and a little bit of, a uh, little bit turn on the core. Now I don't know if I'm going to be able to set all the top pins before I go to the side pins, or if they're going to be somewhere in between. I'm not too sure if uh, if there's that much of a gap between the top pins and the side. Pin. Oh man, I think I just overset two. Just clicked like crazy there. Let's see. That was completely weird. It just gave out like nothing. All right, let's go see if these ones in the back are set. Okay, click out of six, I want to say. Out of five, four is a really low one. Little click from him. Come back up to can't get another three. Let's check two. I'll go back to the hook one to check three. It's pin one, pin two, pin three. Click out of three, a little bit of core rotation. Let's see if he's yep. I right, popped him out of the counter milling, um, and I got a little bit more rotation. Air handler's coming on, messing with my sense of hearing. All right, two's high, one's low. Double check those back ones again. It's kind of a process here to get these top pins. I want to make sure I got them before I go, to, or got them as much as I can before going to side pins. I'm not feeling any counter. I am using a lot of uh, tension, so it's pretty hard to feel any sort of counter rotation, especially because the barrels in the counter milling give so little. Uh, feedback. Check number four, which is a really low cut. Okay, we might be there. Bouncing off two a little. Let's see if I can get any more from him, and then let's see if we can get any more from five and six real quick. Just to see. I mean, I haven't felt like a lot of core rotation, so I'm guessing there's not a lot of play between the top pins and the and the sidebar pins. But let's start feeling sidebar, see if any if anything's binding here. Um, pin one is springy, two springy, three. Uh, we got some either that or I'm just grabbing a spring. All right, let's count again because I lost some count. One, two. Three, four, four. I feel some binding. Click out of four. Very faint. Not the same as when I was picking just the sidebar on its own. Six. Uh, pin five. Sorry. Lifted and a little bit of core rotation. Uh, one, two is now feeling a little, a uh, little bit of core rotation. Once I got two, three, four. Okay, click out of four, another click out of four, five, back to one, one is now binding, little tiny click out of one, oh 
I don't know what happened there. It doesn't feel like a click. I don't know if he's in a gate or not. Check two, check three, two, three, four is way up there. Where's five? One is way up there. Up higher? No. Two. What? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go back to filling the top. Maybe it's a, a lock where you have to do it halfway through. Nothing from two. Nothing from three. Is that three? So this one has a little bit skinnier shaft, so I can go higher, but unfortunately that makes it a little bit more springy, so it's uh, hard to apply a lot of force to the pins with this one. Plus I don't know how this this steel compares to the Peterson steel. This is from some um, precision, precision steel company, uh, and it is uh, from feeler gauge, so I don't know that it is as sturdy or stiff as that Peterson. One of those... Discord guys had a nice little uh, elemental analysis tools, which would have been, which would be cool to check on something like this to see what the percentage of all the different elements are there, as far as iron and carbon and all the other good stuff that's in there. Oh man, I got a click, but it sounded like all my sidebars just uh, sidebar pins just fell down, and I don't know if that's because I just got an overset. All right, and uh, <laughs> I just touched something, and I got a little bit more. I got a core rotation off of that. So um, let's check pin two, which is a high pin after low pin one. Uh, click out of that. I don't know if that's a good thing. If that's an overset, then the reinforce should just lift, is my guess. Mm, no, might be okay pin feel for five and six again. Four still low. Three still kind of low. Two's up high. And yeah, maybe maybe these top pins just weren't set enough before. So let's go back to these side pins and try them over again. I think they all fell down. Nothing from one. Nothing from two. Um, maybe a little binding from three. A little click from three, maybe. Okay, binding on two now. Little click from two and a little bit of rotation, so maybe we are on these. Four is binding. Click from four. So I want to go more. Maybe. Five. Five is binding hard. Check one. Click from one and I drop down into some sort of gate. So at this point, that's what I what I think I would need to maybe do a little float floaty float to see if uh, because I got a lot of core rotation out of that so all those sidebar pins are in gates um, so let's see pin one let's see if I can counter rotate enough just to get him loose I'm gonna keep bouncing on pin one until he gives away because I don't want to go too far back in my rotation I'm gonna take this really slow actually you know what Maybe I want a more aggressive pick because I feel like one has to go higher. I have one other one that I ground down, but it's got a bit longer flag on it. Let's see if this will fit. Yeah, it kind of fits. All right, but he gets definitely much more grip on that pin one, so I can apply more force on him. All right, kind of massaging him until. Oh, come on, you gotta be close. Giving up so much rotation makes me really nervous. Because pins are going to be dropping real soon. All right, pin one just went up higher. Okay, let's check on the other ones. If I can get this guy to go under. I don't know my count with this one as well. One, two, three, 
four, five, all right, five set. Uh, I get a better, I, I understand my heights better with the red one at least. Two's in the gate, three's in the gate, four is super high, five doesn't feel like he's in where he belongs. So I'm gonna try to lift five. I'm gonna get off the rotation a little bit. Counter, counter, bounce in five. I heard something drop, uh, but five just lifted. All right, so I lost something doing that. Looks like I lost one, got one back. Two, feels like I lost two, got two back. Three feels okay. Four, feels like I lost four. Oh, I got more rotation. I think four needs to go up one more. Hopefully I don't lose anything doing this one. We're counter rotating slowly. Oh, I lost something, but I think I got him up. Checking back on one, lost one. Counter rotation again. And it's like ping pong here. I'm gonna try the taller one again for one. Counter, 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 come on. Actually, you know what? I can get even stronger on one than this. Oh, but we're open, so I don't need to. I was thinking about sticking a pick under one to get it up there higher. Anyways, let's take a look at what's in here. That took quite a while, um, but I don't mind because it's the first open. And I think I did another first open on camera recently. It might have been like the, the Primus, the Schlage Primus, or maybe it was the, the Asus 700. I can't remember. Um, but that's cool. All right. um, and I mean, it's not like I was just blind picking this lock. I have done the sidebar. I've done the top pins separately. And it was just kind of combining those two efforts into uh, picking the whole thing, right? Um, so it's not like I just dropped in and picked it, you know? That's, uh, that would that'd be too crazy for my skill level. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get this guy. Uh, we'll move this down a little so that we can see a little bit more what's going on. Okay. <laughs> no. All right, I'm going to lock it back up. There we go. Yeah. And did I ever use the key? Where's the key? Works nice. Locked. Screw this. Okay, that's for the little actuator. Then I got some uh, star, some Torx head screws here. Uh, then we gotta go ahead and grab that key. The um, the key will keep the side pins held in, so you don't need to worry about those. But the side bar will go flying out along with both of its springs if you're not careful. So um, let me get started on the back here. What am I doing? Doing this really. And then you want to go and hold hold the side bar in so it doesn't go flying. Okay. Put that right there. I'm gonna take the side bar. And you'll see the sidebar has these little grooves. There's one there, these two low ones, this one high one, and then this kind of almost bottom one. So that's going to determine the height that you need to lift the um, sidebar pins to because the sidebar pins all have their true gate at the same level on them. There are two little springs here that, hold, uh, that push that sidebar out. And um, I'll show you the, the cylinder after where the sidebar goes into. So... The key right now is holding in all the holding in all those um, sidebar pins, so you don't need to worry. worry. Uh, six just came out, and these are all standard pins, so nothing uh, nothing exciting to look at. One, two, three, four, oh, five just fell next to four. Double check. Yep. Okay, so there's the six standard pins. We're gonna drop the sidebar pins out, so I'm just gonna pull back, and it's gonna have. Um, each of these is going to have a spring with them. 
So there's uh, pin five. And you can see, you don't need to keep these in order. They're all the same. They all have a true gate in the middle and then false gates, uh, looks like two on top, two on bottom. Um, and then a spring that goes into this little hollow area, I guess, to uh, relief, relieve some of the pressure on that spring. All right, there's pin four. Sorry, I wanna make this a little pretty. Normally I'd just dump these all out because they're all the same. Um, three, two, and one. I'm not a super excitable person. I get excited inside. <laughs> I'm pretty excited that I got this open. Um, even if, if I don't go crazy. All right, pin one. These are um, barrel spools. So they got like a little uh, spool area on top and bottom. I think all the springs are the same. So six, I mean, sorry, two, three, Since they're not gins, you don't really ca you don't care if they're which way around they are. Oh, this is six, so that's why I just kind of let them fly out. Five and four. Oh, but I do feel that I dropped a spring on, spring on the floor. Okay, and four. So, um, in here. Uh, the sidebar, sidebars go up and down and you want to get them all lined up to have those true gates at the same level as where the cuts are on the sidebar or the little, not the cuts, the little things sticking in. And then on the top you have, um, you have this uh, counter milling on every single chamber that catches the lip of each of those barrels which sucks. One, two. So there's two on each. Two little uh, cuts, uh, two, two little counter mill cuts into each of the um, uh, holes of the plug. All right, so let's see what we got here. As far as pins go, we've got that for, hopefully that's in focus, and then the close-up on the sidebar. Um, was there something? Oh, and, and then the final thing is in here, there's nothing special going on in any of those in the Bible uh, holes, but there's that little sidebar notch um, that the sidebar uh, sits in. And if you turn the plug, um, what that's going to do is, because this is all angled, it's going to push the plug into the cylinder, and that's what gives you your, your sidebar tension. Anyways, uh, that's it for the ASA Twin 6000. Um, Hopefully that helps anybody trying to get into this. Thanks.